I was born and raised in Ashboro. Brittany Edgerton admits that for the last few weeks, she's been counting down the days. So I'm in the final phase of my training here before graduation. She's excited to move closer toward another tremendous opportunity. She's an officer candidate school in Newport, Rhode Island. So it's your pathway to become a commissioned officer in the Navy. So once I graduate, I'll be commissioned. I'll be considered an O-1 or an ensign. She was an enlisted sailor before going to officer candidate school and is a hometown hero in more ways than one. Uh, prior to the Navy, I was a high school English teacher in the Piedmont Triad, and I have always felt very compelled to serve my country, to serve my community. I loved being a teacher. I felt a higher calling to serve my country in a different way, and joining the Navy seemed like the logical next step for me. Officer Candidate Edgerton was born and raised in Ashboro. She taught in Guilford and Randolph counties. And then I signed my contract with the Navy in 2017. Her military experience has stretched her level of discipline, and she's surprised herself by how far she's come. I've learned so much, a lot more than I anticipated. Um, I knew that I was going to learn a lot, and I got here, and I learned how hard I can push myself physically uh, and how hard someone else can push me physically as well. Um, uh, academically, it's been challenging. It's a, it's a different type of challenging than college. And they, they really teach you how to operate in a high stress, high pressure environment in order to be able to make and execute decisions well. Her career is an example that anything is possible if you're willing to work for it. So to the, to the women, to the young women um, that are looking forward to a powerful position in life, I would say to find a mentor who is a powerful woman, to reach out to them, to shadow them, to have them give you advice in the role that you would like to be, and that we are fully capable of doing anything that we would like in this, in this world, so long as we put our minds to it.